Hey guys, welcome back to your girl's channel, A Day With Paris. If you are new, hey y'all, hey, how y'all doing today? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell as well because I would not want you to miss out on any of my posts once I, you know, post them. But as you guys see, I have this a beautiful, simple, but still bold holiday glam eyeshadow look. So I did this really cute cut crease. I, you know, blended it in with a little brown smoky eye type of effect, you guys. I'm really, really, really loving this glitter pigment by Wet n Wild. It's a loose pigment. It is called, it's called You're My Boo. But um, yeah, I'm really loving how it came together. This cut crease is bomb. This pigment is bomb as well. We're not talking about my hair in this video because I really didn't even do it. But if you see any flyaways, frizziness, it's okay, I'm natural. Another thing that I am just like loving right now are these lashes. These are in the style Sultry, Sultry um, by Prim and Prissy. I'll leave that information down below as well so you guys can go on the site and go shop for your mink lashes yourselves. You guys, these lashes are like bomb.com. Can you guys see them? Bomb.com. You guys, I really, Hope you love and enjoy this video as much as I did creating it for you guys. If you guys already know what to do, go ahead and like this video, comment down below, and please do not forget to subscribe. I would love for you to join the Paris family, a day with Paris family. You can be my baby love, my love, my boo thing. But yeah, you guys, as <laughs> you guys already know what to do. Stay black, stay blessed, and stay beautiful, my baby loves. And I'll see you guys later. Deuces. All right, so you guys know I already have one eye done, so we're gonna get ready and do this other one. I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in Deep and LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze and just mixing those two together to create my base for my eyeshadow. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going in with that Bondi palette by Clara Cosmetics using this brick orangey kind of shade and that's going to be my transition color. And I'm just gonna pat that into my crease of my eyebrow, the crease of my eyebrow, <laughs> the crease of my lid, and a little bit above that, and then the outer V. Okay, so once I have complete got the color pigmentation that I've been looking for I'm going in with this brown shade and this is going to basically be the base and the rest of the colors that I'm going to be using besides the glitter shade but I'm just going to go ahead and apply that right into that crease area and um, basically wherever I put that transition color I'm going to go ahead and put that brown on there just to create a um, deeper depth effect so when I say I'm picking up the little bits the little bits I can't talk right now. The littlest amount of black eyeshadow on that brush, I picked up like the bare minimum and still um, shook off the excess because I did not want this to be a dark smoky eye. So I left it pretty neutral and pretty brown. So that's why I didn't go heavy in with that black eyeshadow. So I'm going back in with that concealer that I had from before. I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto my lid and look up just to create that cut crease that I want and that they're both even on both sides. So like you just saw, I just put that um, concealer on my lid, looked up, and that's going to be the guideline of where I need to put my cut crease or how high I need to put it. So after I do my cut crease, I'm going in with this glitter glue by Too Faced and just going to go ahead and tack that onto that cut crease and um, blend that out so it can get tacky. Now I did put a neutral eyeshadow on this um, concealer so it could not be so wet, but, but I forgot to show it on camera, but I just used a neutral pinkish or nude color eyeshadow and put that as the base okay so after I have all the glue where I needed to go I'm going in with this wet and wild loose pigment in the 
shade or the name you're my boo and just went ahead and apply that all on that lid to create this iced out cut crease y'all this cut crease is so beautiful and it's like perfect for the holiday or even not a holiday and you just want to be real glitz and glam y'all this cut crease is so cute all right so i went back in with that transition color and just blended the glitter in that brown eyeshadow and then after that i went back in with that brown eyeshadow brown eyeshadow just to blend everything together and make it all one I went in with some Stella gel eyeliner and just created a small wing liner just to complement this cut crease All right, so I fast forward and did my face off camera. You guys know I use my MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid in NW50, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand, and then I'm going to go ahead and set all of that with my Sasha Buttercup, contour my True Complexion um, palette, and then wipe everything off. All right, so after I wipe everything off, I'm gonna go in with that brown shade from earlier, smoke out my bottom lash line, then I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara, set my face with some Max Fix Plus, and apply some highlighter. So after that dries down, I'm going in with my Anastasia Glow Kit using the shades um, White Sand and what is this? White Sand and Sunray for my highlighting shade. I'm going to use that on my um, cheekbones, all on the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, my nose, the bridge of my nose, my Cupid's bow, and also apply some for my brow bone highlight. Now, when I say I'm a nude lip type of a girl, that is me all day, every day, to the day I die, I will be a nude lip connoisseur. <laughs> but I'm going in with my MAC uh, Chestnut Lip Liner and then going in with Velvet Teddy, also by MAC, and creating this beautiful nude lip that is my all-time fave lip. If I'm going to wear a lipstick, it's going to be this combo. Um, I'll also pop on some lip gloss to, you know, spice it up, but I just left it how it was. But you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, also I'm going to go ahead and set my face with some MAC Studio Fix um, Powder in NW50. 
45 and this is the end of the video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful stunning holiday makeup honestly any occasion you can wear this but it's just so cute um you guys know what to do like comment and subscribe and always you guys stay black stay blessed and stay beautiful look at these slow-mo y'all <laughs> bye you guys